Alright, so first things first, we're gonna create this new project. It's always a good culture to name your project, so I'm gonna name mine Horizontal Scrolling. It's a very good culture to do in Figma. So I'm gonna insert a new frame. What I'm gonna go do, do is I'm gonna go with the iMac 1280 by 720. Okay, that will do. So next, we're gonna make some design cards that we're gonna be using for this project. So just select your rectangle shape right here. Then we're gonna draw a rectangle shape. Just make sure it's uh, it's actually thin, not too big. Something approximately of the width is 257, 393. Okay. All right. All right, so that's gonna be our board right there. We're gonna change the color of the frame from within. Just make sure to select that frame. And we're gonna change this fill to something darker. Okay. So what that will do is it allows us to change the color of the frame to something white. So that they actually don't mix up together. All right, so next I'm gonna duplicate this frame of mine. Just duplicate by holding Alt on your keyboard. Then I'm gonna reduce the height of that. I'm gonna give this a different color. Let's give it something preferably red. Okay, so I'm gonna place this red back there. Okay, until it actually fits in the shape. All right, so let's actually just increase the width a little bit. Okay, that will do. So next we're gonna insert some, some text. We're just gonna type some text. We're gonna type the text. The first text I want to type is um, technology because I love technology. I'm gonna give this my favorite point font type, Poppins. Okay, then we're gonna give it a bold, extra bold. Then let's increase this size to something like 25. Okay, okay that would do. So let's place this right around there. All right, so next I wanna add some text right below this. Now I'm gonna select my text tool, then I'm gonna draw a shape right around there. And I wanna reduce this font size to something like size 15. Okay. So I'm gonna go to my plugins, then I'm gonna select a plugin I love, it's called Lorem Ipsum. This allows me to fill my, my design with dummy text. Just give it a second to load, and there it is. Then we're gonna make sure to select auto generate. We want it to auto generate text for us. All right, that would do, looking good. Then we're gonna change this to regular. The text has been regular. Then we're gonna center all of it right below there. Okay, it's looking good. So we're gonna select a rectangle tool again. Then we're gonna draw a small rectangle here. It's gonna be like a mini button at the bottom. We're gonna give this an orange color. something orange all right so i'm gonna make it easy i'll just type in some coordinates right here for the kind of orange you want so it's gonna be f e seven f zero e then just click enter okay so that's the orange we'll go with i'm gonna duplicate this text technology just gonna type in select i'm gonna give this a white color Okay, there we go. Then I'm gonna place it. Let's just change its position and bring it to the top. So bring to front. All right, so it's actually visible at the top. Looking good. Let's just change the font text a little bit to something medium. Okay. All right, so that's looking okay. So something we wanna do is we're gonna group all this. So we're gonna click group selection they're gonna call this card one this is our card we've actually created them in a put them in a group so we're gonna duplicate this just duplicate by just holding alt okay so that we have a second card so we have card one and card two so we're gonna select both and then we're just gonna say add auto layout so you have that option when you right click so our two cards are gonna be within the auto layout okay so I'm gonna go to the second card right here. Then I'm gonna look for a text that we have technology. I'm gonna change that text to computer. Okay, just make sure it's centered. Okay, just make sure the computer text is actually just around the middle. All right, so this time around, we're gonna go. So just gonna go where card two is, then just click on Ctrl D. So it will just automatically create another. Okay, so this time in card three, we're gonna change the text to 
<coughs> so we ha where we have computer we're gonna change that to art okay they're gonna center that all right there we go so hold card 3 and then click ctrl d and to duplicate sorry about that so it will duplicate that for you so we have another card right here card 4 we're gonna change the text from art to trees right so i want to protect our environment so we're going to talk about trees it's going to be one of the cards so this is this is going to be useful duplicate that again so we've duplicated and just make sure to go to where you have your card five this is going to be our fifth card then we're going to change this text to ocean then we're going to center that okay looking okay then duplicate this card okay so the nice thing about auto layout is i can actually just reposition them anytime but we'll stick to the order right now then i'm going to change this text to the last one food right so next we wanna, want our cards to actually have have a meaning so gonna uh we're gonna add some images to the red boxes that we have right there okay so just go to your plugins then just make sure we're gonna use a plugin called unsplash yeah it's gonna allow us to use copyright free images so just give it a second to load all right so it has actually loaded so we're gonna search for so we're gonna begin with the very first one just make sure that red box is selected then we're gonna search for technology okay so this will give us a variety of images to to ponder on but i love this one just select it it will actually just refill now does not look cool i'm gonna go to rectangle two right here we're gonna just search for uh we're gonna type in we have type in computers but we actually have an image here in technology that will actually work for us let's go with that computer All right so in card three right so we're gonna so we now want to search for something that represents art okay make sure that red box is actually selected then we're gonna select that okay looking good so on to card four select that rectangle too then we're gonna search for trees sure there are plenty of trees to choose from I'll actually go with this this looks cool okay that looks beautiful Okay, off to card five. Then make sure you have that rectangle selected. Then search for ocean. Okay, there are plenty to choose from. Very many, but we'll actually choose this one. That looks good. Then card six. I'm going to type in food. plenty of foods to choose from yeah but I'll just go with this I'll just go with this okay everything is looking all right we cannot close this all right so we have our frame right here our frame of cards so we're gonna place this back onto our onto our main frame just make sure to place it so you actually said it actually some part of it is hidden that's okay that's what we want because this will allow us to scroll through properly all right so next we're gonna design a scroll bar right below it it's just gonna design a scroll bar Let's just make sure to draw to place a rectangle shape right there i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a white color okay all right so next we're gonna make use of our polygon tool right here i'm gonna draw some some triangle shapes so i'm gonna flip this by um 90 okay looking okay do i want to resize this just make sure it's actually a little bit smaller so it refers to this direction right here i'm gonna give it a dark color okay so i'm gonna duplicate this by holding alt gonna place a copy of it right at the end and we zoom in we're gonna flip this to negative 90 so it's actually the opposite direction okay looking good all right next we're 
text we're just going to duplicate this then we're going to reduce the width we want to place this right here let's give it an orange color we're going to give it this shade of orange okay so there we go we have our scroll bar ready to use okay so we're going to position it this is going to be the beginning of it from there all right so we're going to duplicate our entire artboard by clicking ctrl d okay so next one we're going to do some repositioning we want to position this right to the very end so let's we're going to keep the height steady the height is going to remain 720 okay so we're gonna sorry about that so make sure to select the frame so off to the very end then i'm going to change the height so make sure the height is back to 720. sorry about that so what we're going to do is just make sure to look at the value on y 84 that represents the height so i'm going to just uh reposition it to the very end then i'm going to make sure the height is remains at 84 just like it was before all right then i'm going to drag this to the very end so just make sure to keep it in line let's so just zoom in so i'm going to place it right at the very end right there we go so it has a beginning and it has an end all right so next we're going to do some prototyping so add this we're going to prototype this we're going to add an interaction so we're going to say on drag navigate to mac 2 smart animate 300 milliseconds looking good then we also want to be able to go back so we're going to add an interaction on drag navigate back to that then smart animate 300 milliseconds okay looking good so let's play it and test it all right so we have a prototype here so let's see what happens when i actually drag this you can actually see that it actually moves to the very end that's actually what you wanted to achieve all right i hope you learned something new in this video if you liked it feel free to leave a like on the video and then if you're new to this channel i encourage you to subscribe and join the community so that you learn a lot of ways to use figma and then if you liked it so tell me below in the comments how it helped you Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.